It's election night and my chance to annoy the big names in the BBC studio. This time, all live on social media. And uh, this is the most depressing bit. Yeah, I've seen tomorrow. Um, <laughs> expected to get a bit of a headache. Well, you just do, yeah, you just do. It's all the thinking. It's a two day extravaganza of results. Will Jeremy Corbyn be staying up all night tonight? Oh yes, yeah. Jeremy doesn't go to bed on nights like this. <laughs> We're old mates, we've been together 30 years on these different things and he's obsessive as me. Oh, so you're both proper election night oh, geeks. Oh yes, yeah, afraid so. The Labour telly addicts watched their party lose one council and a handful of councillors in England. Not a lot, but not amazing either, as even Jeremy Corbyn admitted. We were getting predictions that uh, Labour was going to lose councils. We didn't. We hung on. Although he celebrated winning two by-elections in pretty safe Westminster seats. Talking of seats... This is the first time I've ever had a desk at one of these things. Look how close I am. The SNP got close to a majority in the Scottish Parliament, just not quite. We have tonight made history. It is a vote of confidence in the record in government of the SNP and it is a vote of trust in the SNP to lead our country forward. Davidson Ruth, Scottish Conservative and Unionist. The biggest smile belonged to Ruth Davidson, leader of the Scottish Tories, who displaced Labour.